Hey everyone, I am going to be doing a ROM review of um, Mosaic 6 Mosaic Six for the Captivate and as you can see it's booting up right now and you will see something very cool this I don't know why it's lagging right now probably because it's well, I don't play that, but it's actually one of the cooler um, boot animations I've seen. Um, so let's get down to the ROM review. So the launcher you're going to be greeted with is, of course, the stock launcher that's been themed. Some pretty cool theming uh, going on. The market has been themed as well into something pretty nice, like a glass pane look with. Um, as you can see, a lot of orange theming going on with uh, the glass plane look on the back. Uh, it's pretty cool. I didn't think I'd like orange that much, but this is very nice. Um, the drop down is also glass pane with uh, bright orange, um, quick settings, also very cool. And the dialer is themed orange with um, landscape support, as you can see. This is all very nice. I almost wish um, the Samsung Galaxy S2 developers had such great innovation in theming. Um, I haven't seen it there yet. There are a couple of ROMs, but um, none to the scale of uh, the Captivate, so it's kind of making me miss it. Um, so we got a couple of nice keyboards here. We got the um, Blackout Gingerbread Keyboard and of course there is also um, a Swipe Keyboard which is very nicely themed. This is very beautiful. I'm not a fan of Swipe but this is very nice. I must say it makes me want to kind of learn it or become fluent with it. Uh, great keyboard, very nice looking, and um, uh, something that I do like with this ROM is this application called Theme Settings, um, where you can set up the lock screen and um, some other lock screens down here, but um, the thing that stands out the most is this. Um, the phone options, you can actually set it up, like, you can set it up to do this for example, mobile AP or recovery and download and the next time you set it um, you will long hold the power button all those options are available for you you can actually set off your mobile AP from here which is brilliant I, I'm actually liking that a lot so for some information about this ROM it's running the JBQ framework by Samsung and it has the JK4 modem which is of course my choice all the time um, it's all, it also has uh, the dark core kernel I've never used it but it's definitely getting the job done here it seems very snappy I've used it for a while now and uh, the battery drainage is actually at a minimal it's still at 62 and I started at around 70 in the evening so that's really good for a um, Captivate in my eyes. Uh, not that I was using it heavily, but definitely great battery life. Um, Google Maps actually has battery drain issues, so you need to freeze it through titanium backup. And um, the power control widget does not work, sadly. But um, I never use it, so I don't think many of you do. And if you do, you can always um, find an alternative in the market. So as you can see, it's missing stuff. So that should be it for my ROM review and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.